Now I know to never live my life like you. Bro, don't. You're making it worse. Bro! Wow. So you're saying he tormented kids with rough backgrounds over an in-school in ranking? And even gave out test questions? If you turn this over to the police, that'll be the end of Sang Yeo Chan's teaching career. We can't do that. If we do, he'll only get punished for leaking test questions. We need to school him on everything he's done wrong. I need to get a body like like General Na, bro, because man is ripped. Captain, are you mad because he messed with the kid's family? A little. Nah, a little for General Na is, is a lot for any regular person. Clean the school's premises. Work the lunch line, greet students with a warm smile, recite or allow the, entire, the entirety of the ordinance of students' rights, ask the following students for forgiveness. Wow. Warden, what is the meaning of this? Starting now, your midterm exam begins. Complete the exam by 9 a.m. next week. Any underperformers who can't manage to get a score of 60 points by that time will be expelled on the spot. Expelled in this case means dismissed from your jobs. Yeah. No more payment for y'all, y'all gonna be homeless. Please pay particular attention to the final question. No matter how well you do on the other questions, you're not passing without solving that one. Ah! K kids that's enough! What? You want me to forgive you? Huh? Ugh! You think you deserve to be forgiven after how you harass girls like this? Oh my god, is Widow Yu Wong gonna cry? Don't be such a baby. It was just a little mistake. It was just a mistake after all. You know, all this stress has made my hands a bit shaky. Oh, she gonna stab his balls, ain't she? Never know what sort of innocent mistake I might make next. Not there! Th that's my precious! Yup. Damn it. What the hell kind of game is this? He expects me to grovel in front of that garbage young Wong Choi? Forget it. I'll worry about it later. I'm not sure what Guang Six name is doing here. But I'll knock out the easy one first. Sign this, Guan Sik. You did what I asked about Hyun Wong's gramps, right? Give me a progress report. What did you do? If you landed him in the hospital, that'd be the cherry on top. Yeah? Is that what you want, mother -er? Want me to send you to the hospital too? How long do you want to stay on bed rest? A week? Two weeks? Or forever? Wh what is this? What's gotten into you? It's you, bat brains. You call yourself a teacher after making your students do that shit? Damn, even the bully's calling him out on his shit. That's how you know you're a bad teacher. The hell is this? Your sins are forgiven? Huh, what a fucking laugh. Here you go, you fucking swine. Ugh. That kid sure knows how to put on a show. Congrats. One down, one to go. Forgiveness. For such a common word. It sure carries a lot of weight, doesn't it? I hope he knows that the other kid's not gonna forgive him. What the hell got into Guan Sick back there? Could it be? Did things go awry yesterday? Then those files I gave him. Well, that wouldn't be the worst. They can't implicate me on it anyway. They were the they were the questions for last year's exams anyway. I can't just give away the real stuff to anyone. Done cleaning. Good work today. Who says you're done cleaning? <laughs> if they don't get enough points, they're fired. Ha! <laughs> hey, grab the trash can. I want to pour it out. Good. Quit it, will you? Resign! 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 The faces they're making, I think it's really hitting now. I think now they're really seeing the, the error in their ways because when, it's one thing when the students are just awful and they want all the teachers to resign because whatever, but this is this is different. Like, it this, this hits way harder when it's like, you did these kids dirty, now you're in the student's shoes and these students are telling you resign because you don't want you here. I would leave too if I was a bad teacher. I'm sure I wouldn't be in a spot like this, but if I was like these assholes, I would have quit too. I'm tendering my resignation as of today. Oh, wait, are they? Oh, they're quitting. They're actually quitting. After yesterday, I realized that the students don't want us around. I suppose that's just proof of how much we mistreated them. Look at them. Look at these guys growing up actually being adults. I'm going to ask my students for forgiveness regardless. But I see now that teachers who aren't respected by their pupils don't deserve to teach. Thank you for opening my eyes, Warden Na. Uh. Wait just a minute, Miss Kang. This morning, your students signed the form. They said that sometimes she'd lash out, which annoyed them, but that she still deserved to teach. 
Miss Kang with a score of 62 points. You have passed this midterm exam. You may take off your uniform and return to teaching. Aw. See? You all could do the same. As you see, the students here are reasonable. If you give them a genuine apology, I'm sure they'll know just how genuine it is. I, uh, treated you wrong. Forgive me, Hyun Wong. If there's anger festering inside you, then go ahead and take it out on me now. Look what I've come to. If you want me to quit teaching, I'll quit. He won't actually ask me to, right? Hyun Wong? Yeah, I was in the wrong too. By letting my anger get the best of me and grabbing you by the collar. If the TRP hadn't come and I actually laid into you, I'm sure my life would have been in pieces too. If you want to quit teaching, go ahead. I don't care. Well, you done lost your job, bro. I realize now that caring about jerks like you is just a waste of time. I know better than to let a piece of trash like you affect my life. Damn, bro. It's clipped for him. Hungry, Hyun Wong? Not him sucking his dick now. Come on. Uh, eat. This while you work. You don't get eat. You don't get to eat stuff like this often, right? Not you also coming at the fact that he's poor. This is a fast food restaurant, fam. Come on. Yeah, put your earphones in. Damn it! Screw this! That little piece of shit is up on his high horse. Tisk tisk tisk. What's with you always throwing away perfectly good food? Last time you threw away that pork cutlet too. No wonder you're skinny as a twig. The only people who have yet to pass the midterm are you and the gym teacher Yu Yong Yi. You realize the deadline is tomorrow, right? It doesn't matter. Damn it. Tomorrow? Pick up, Dad. Pick up, Dad. Pick up, Dad. Hi, Daddy. How are you doing? Homie has a daughter, too? That's surprising. Gosh, how long has it been, my little princess? Daddy, I went to Christina's birthday party yesterday. The parties here are so fun. You did? My little princess is so popular. I'm going to a camp next week. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah? We'll have a fun trip, okay? But, uh, Daddy, Mommy said it's gonna cost money. Like, $2,000. How much one is that? Could you send it by tomorrow? This woman, using our daughter like this. Oh, of course, honey. I'll send it tomorrow, I promise. Thank you, Daddy. I love you. I. It makes sense that he's divorced, though. Or separated, at least. Because who would want to be with this terrible person's ass? You're late. Did you stop by the city library or something? You know I was a lot like you when I was young. I didn't have much and got bullied for that. But looking back now, all those disadvantages were what motivated me. Not you trying to trying to um, defend your ill actions against this boy. I told myself I would study hard and show them. You don't have to forgive me. Instead, let's make a deal. This has all the questions to the semester's midterms. Not only that, I'll take care of your in-school rank in rankings and performance records, and make sure they're pristine until you graduate. You're a smart kid, so you know that this is a so you know that this is far better than that pointless emotional appeal crap, right? Yeah, you, bro. He doesn't need the answers if he's already studying hard to get the answers. I don't know. If I was studying OD for a test, I wouldn't even want to get the answers because then what was the point of me studying? I worked hard to be prepared and I want to test myself to know that I, was, that I actually worked that hard, you know? I guess you are a teacher after all. I learned one thing. Thanks for that. Now I know to never live my life like you. Bro, don't. You're making it worse. Bro! You little shit! You think this is fun, huh? What the hell? Stamp it, you bastard! This is crazy. You know this really is ridiculous. What did I even do to you for you to, for you to have such a grudge on grudge, huh? What you went through. It's nothing compared to that girl two years ago. So you know what you did is wrong. Go tattle to the TRPA all you want. I've got nothing to lose. But since I can't care for my family anymore, I'll have to make sure make sure that your gramps can't either. No, no, no. You're going about this all wrong. That's not how you solve this problem. <clears throat> I thought you know better than that. Beat his ass, nah. All cheaters. Fail. Good. He wasted your time. Leave this no good guy to me. 
you go get back to studying. He's like, thank you, bro. That's dead ass all I wanted to do. Uh, uh. Now you're gonna lose your job and get your ass beat. F forgive me. The, the thought of losing my job made me. Please, I don't want to get fired. I have an eight-year-old daughter. I have to care for my family. Please. Job this, family that. Sounds like that's all your problem. Damn. If you want forgiveness, you should repent for what you did wrong. Not blab about your own crappy life that has nothing to do with the people you hurt. Your apologies aren't really for them. But they're for your own sake, aren't they? Phew. I mean, I do this kind of thing because it's my job, but... Taking a job away from a family provider? That's sitting with, that's sitting with me a little wrong. Hey, how about I give you one last chance? I'll do anything! If you give me a chance, I'll make things right. Good. If you pass this test, then I'll make sure you're back teaching tomorrow. Did this girl ring any bells to you? They brought her over. Thanks to your fabulous teachings. She's become a felon. You're... Yuri Han. Yo, beat his ass, Yeri. Yo, I really hope Yeri beats his ass, bro. Please beat his ass. How long has it been? How are things? She about to kick his ass, bro. Ah! Meanwhile, Nama's just looking. Like, alright. I'm sorry. Stop. Can't you forgive? What? Forgive you? Forgive you? How dare you ask for forgiveness? After what you did to me! Bro. Mr. Chan, isn't this enough? Please let me go home. Midterm start tomorrow. I'm going to come back and inspect the room in an hour. You know what will happen if I find a single speck of dust. Why are you doing this to me? Welcome to Mimi Salon. We'll have you walking out of here looking fabulous. Not them cutting her hair because she's pretty, come on. Don't! Oh man. It makes sense how Yeri went down the deep end. What are you doing back here? Uh, did you get a haircut? Hm. Well, don't you look prim and proper. I want... I want to see you looking like this every day. Your relentless nitpicking, abetting bullying, docking my grades. I had no idea why my homeroom teacher was tormenting me so much back then. We regret to inform you that Yeri Han is not, was not admitted to Double O Inter International High School. Thank you for applying. It's all right. You'll be okay, Yeri. While she was on her fast food shift, bro. Yeah, it's not like it's college. It won't kill you to get rejected from a high school. Hey. Hurry up and get drinks to table three. Ah, uh, I'm coming, jeez. You heartless bablet, balding prick. I'm fine now. Let me take care of it. Why don't you take the day off? I'll talk to that bald jerk face. No, it's all right. Thank you so much, Mr. Chan. I wouldn't have made it, made it into the international school if it weren't for you. My parents told me, told me to give you this. Those twins got lower grades than, low, lower grades than me up until eighth grade. You said that twat Yeri didn't get in, right? Thank God. <laughs> Finally, all my questions were answered. I realized that I had been sacrificed for the sake of those two bitches. That's when I promised myself that I would never let her teacher take me take advantage of me again. Yo, her eyes. No, I would make it so they would never dare to mess with me. Oh shit, she about to kill him. She about to claim a body. This is all your fault. Nah. Hold her back, please. Ah! It's all because of you! You ruined my life! Oh, so you want to add a murder charge now? Ruining your life wasn't, a bad, wasn't bad enough, eh? Go ahead. Smash that skull. No one's going to stop you from throwing away your life. That's all on you, no one else. Glad he's teaching her a lesson, too. Don't let him run, though. Damn it. When did that girl get so vicious? Karma. Ah! Karma's a bitch. Ever thought about this? How unfair it is to have your life ruined? Just because of that pathetic prick? Ah, oh, My life's already ruined. What do you want me to do? I've already got a record. Whether you've got a prior or not doesn't matter. What matters is that there's a dead in your heart. By the name of Young Soo Go. Who died because of you. Damn. You must know how it feels to be wronged by someone. Better than anyone, huh? But what Mr. Go went through cannot be compared. His family would be feeling 10, no 100 times more grief than you do. Prior charge or not, anyone who could be calm after making someone die was never going to lead a proper life in the first place. 
just like that piece of trash over there. If you want a fresh start, you should beg you should beg Mr. Ghost's family for forgiveness. On to our next story. It's been revealed that a teacher at CM High School in Seoul has been taking money from students' as parents in exchange for leaking test answers. And today, the teacher was arrested by police. The teacher's alleged corruption was caught during a visit from the teacher's rice protections agency. According to an investigation that by the TRPA's warden, in the lap for the last 10 years, the teacher has been taking gifts from parents for manipulating the grades of certain students. In order to do so, he not only leaked exams and gave unfair assessments, but deliberately sabotaged students with rough backgrounds to lower their test scores. However, Ms. H, who is serving at a girls' penitentiary for the for the case involving a teacher's wrongful death, was revealed to be a past victim of the same of the same teacher's scheming, bringing much sympathy. Because of how this teacher had treated her, Ms. H began to loathe teachers, causing her to take that hatred to extreme ends. But now, she has reflected on her actions and writes letters to the bereaved family day after day. Please don't forgive me. Her last line of the letter truly strikes you in the heart. This case has shown how the twisted education methods of teachers can ruin the lives of their students. And for this, I'm impressed, Captain. I never would have thought that you'd get Yeri Han to reflect on her actions. There's a saying of other, there's a saying, by others' faults, wise people correct their own. People don't always learn from good examples. That man, Sang Yon Chan, finally got to truly educate. Three months later, Yeri Han, you've got a letter. What? Dear Yeri, your teacher, Young Soo Go, was my husband for the last three months. I've been unable to bring myself to open your letters. When they reported about your story on the news, I bawled my fist in anger with how everyone felt compassion for you. Because no matter what it was that you went through, there was still no good reason that my husband should have died. But yesterday, I finally read every letter that you had sent one by one. Still, I cannot forgive you. However, my husband was an educator. I may not be able to forgive you, but if you could see how you sincerely, but if you could see how you sincerely, how sincerely you have reflected on your actions, my husband would smile and forgive you. That's beautiful, bro. Don't send any more letters. I only ask that you live a good and honest life. That alone would be, would be a genuine atonement for my husband. Damn, bro. Homegirl needed that. I'm, I'm happy for you, fam.